What up, party people? So, let's um, do an early morning tarot reading. You'll hear Raven in the background playing with the baby because the baby's eating her face again. So, I hope everybody's doing well. <laughs> Hopefully, it's a good thing that I, I'm an intense focuser and I can focus on this until they come out here and start yakking at me. She doesn't know I'm doing a tarot reading, so she will pop up. Hey, Jade, what's up? All right, I'm just shuffling up these cards quick. I feel like um, one deck, it's like, it doesn't want to shuffle, so I might just have to get rid of it and get a new one. Oh, and by the way, Jade, I saw some of your pictures um, on your profile, and you look absolutely stunning, you know? You got that glow, and I know people say that about being pregnant, but you've always glown like that, so. All right, let's see. I wanna pull one for you quick, but I'll just do like a little cute rebel deck one, you know, the one that has a foul mouth like me. Um, you're talented and fucking amazing. The world needs your power. Use your voice. Don't use it for dumb shit. Sounds like something I would say. But uh, yeah, you are talented and you are fucking amazing at many different things. Um, uh, you're kind of like me. You do anything and everything and you find that you're good at anything and everything. And you'll find that you're probably nervous about like being a mom to twins and then having a toddler too, but it's a fucking cakewalk. And you know, lucky for you, you do have support and whatnot. So everything's gonna be fine, but you do, you, you look magnificent. And you're gonna, uh, like my neighbor Robin, she had a set of twins and she had two like Irish twins before that. So it's like, they're gonna be fine. You guys make it look easy, so kudos to y'all. Um, God, the universe wouldn't give you uh, twins if you weren't ready for it and you couldn't handle it, you know what I mean? So, yeah. And you got an amazing support system, an awesome, amazing husband. Um, it says love, which you are full of, we all are, but you like to shine your love to everyone. So, you know, but it says get some, give some, and it will cheer your ass up. So to me, that probably just means you feel a little tired, um, but who wouldn't be? You're probably exhausted mentally, emotionally, physically, you know, something like that. So, but anyway, let's move on. <clears throat> all right, I'm going to use playing cards right now. And then if this is for you, great. If not, you know, people don't make it fit. Good morning, Brandy. If you guys hear the baby screaming in the background, it's because the mother won't let him eat her face. Okay, Jess. Okay, guys, let's see. So remember, this might not be for you or this might be for you or it'll piggyback. Some things might work. Um, that's why I don't do specific signs like zodiac signs because it could be anybody and some of us don't know our, we know our sun signs, but we don't know all the other shit. You know what I mean? So let me try to move this up a little bit. This fucking angle is killing me. Okay. All right. So we got somebody that is feeling confident. Um, somebody that is feeling like they're recovering from a situation. Uh, we have someone and two double sevens. <laughs> Seven's a very good number. Someone's feeling a little disappointed in themselves or in somebody else for a certain situation, whatever that may be. Hey, Amy. Um, hey, Eve, it's probably you, not Don. Um, due to somebody else, um, maybe you gained some kind of knowledge and wisdom uh, working or, or learning how to balance some kind of situation. Um, it was giving your time and energy, but it's, it's not bad, it's just, um, you have a lot of temptations coming through now, so kudos to you, you know. Um, it's, it's emotional feelings, but it's, but it's not very good. It's almost self-destructive in a, in a sense. Um, maybe like you're giving too much support to someone when you should be supporting yourself. Um, I'm not really sure. It's emotional, but it's like a, like a self-sabotage type thing. Yeah, you're a leader, you can see the big picture, um, you give support, uh, you learn 
by listening to others not to get in the same situation but it's like are you following your advice are you being a leader in a certain situation because we have the foresight and the knowledge this person does but it's like you're supposed to be leading by example but you're not so I'm not really sure what that's all about and this might be for someone that hasn't come on here yet or that's going to stumble upon it um, to get over this situation uh, with this emotional shit it's like give back to yourself um, maybe you need some extra help or maybe someone around you needs some extra help so don't be afraid to ask for help and don't be afraid to give give help or offer support don't hinder someone but helping someone is just that okay lead by example uh, like a role model or, or something like that yeah, it's like you're being very careful. You're planning something, but there's going to be a delay. And when we have these delays, it's for like divine timing because maybe that other person that's supposed to be on your path can't make it. So the universe is going to push it a little bit like further back so you guys can meet. All right. Something, something like that. Um, but don't get discouraged by this. Look at it like, hey, it's just not that time. You, you know, some, something like that. And again, it... it you're, you're giving support, but somebody is taking, taking that support for granted or you're taking that support for granted. I, I wouldn't do that. If you're going to give it, live it. All right? If you're going to be there, then be there. Don't say I'm going to be there and then you don't show up. Yeah, because you gained um, wisdom and knowledge from this. Um, uh, these are all feeling-based choices that you're making, so emotional, heartfelt type things. <clears throat> Excuse me. You must know something about someone, a person, a situation, but you're feeling indecisive or you are in denial about this situation. So it's not for me to decide. Oh, I hear them. I hear them here. They come. Maybe not. Mm -hmm. What else? What else is going on with someone? Right now, I'm feeling that with the indecisiveness that somebody is confused about which way they should go which and what they should do. But you're only feeling that way because you, like, heard through the grapevine or, or something that... that that's not what that person likes, but that's what you like. So then you need to do what you wanted to do initially. Don't falter just because, you know, um, that'll help you in that situation. It, you, some, <laughs> yeah, you, you paid attention to something, but you got obsessed in it and you had to change the direction. So again, that's what it is. You're, you're backtracking, you're second guessing, uh, yourself and, and your, thought concepts or whatever it is it's like you're like I, I know what I want to do but I'm not going to do it because so and so is not going to like it and that's not going to get you anywhere one you're you're stopping your progress and two it's like it doesn't really matter what anybody else wants it's what you want don't do it because someone else wants you to do it all right let's do this deck now this is just an oracle deck oh did you commit mm -hmm. oh look at you on my live feed looking all rough I don't give a shit. still good looking ain't right mm -hmm. all right let's see We got somebody trying to keep up appearances. I just got that too. Don't do that. You can fake it till you make it, but you gotta believe it before you can see it, okay? So we got um, someone that's feeling, either they're stalking someone or someone is stalking them, whether that be they're you know, driving by their house or they're fucking stalking their social media account, something, something like that. You feel like your privacy is invaded, you're being watched, or you're watching somebody else or you're invading their privacy. Don't do it. You know, do unto others as you want them to do to you, you know? So if you don't wanna be, you know, you don't want someone running your phone, don't run theirs, you know? Let, let them, just let them go. It's not, it's not worth the time and energy. All right. Then you got another reversal, transgression. So it's a spreading of a condition, an influence and an impact. So something happened or you created something and now it's impacting your life, your situation, or you're influencing others to do something that they probably shouldn't be doing. It's, it's like a, not negative, but it's just not a good it's not a good idea. Do you need help making oatmeal right now? No, I'm just looking at calories. I want to oh. see how much I'm eating. You can eat a whole bunch of calories and you'd be fine. I know, but I'd like to count so that I can get over 2,500 a day. 
trying to gain weight. I got up to eat, eat a whole bag of healthy. chips. No, not not that kind of weight. I don't need to be that color. I need to gain healthy fat. Eat not meat. Fat. Eat the meat. Eat meat. meat. Protein. All right, we got another. <laughs> Sorry, Raven. Uh, we got another reversal as far as a witness. So it's like you already know what you need to know. You're just in denial. You have the personal evidence. It says right here. Um, you just need to speak the truth about how you're feeling, what you're going through. Again, it goes back to leading by example. You already know that they know that you know what's going down. All right. Another reversal. Reaching out. It's like a call for help. And, and it's like you should be reaching out, but you're not. You, you like don't want somebody to see what's really going on with you etern internally, emotionally, um, um, psychologically, you know, you're, you're in your own head. Um, you need backup, but you won't ask for help and support. You feel like, well, you know, I I've been doing this by myself, so therefore I don't need anyone. <clears throat> Nobody wants to go through life by themselves. Don't do it. You know, if somebody's going to be there for you or they're asking for you to help them, then do it. You know, especially if you're a helper and you're not admitting your needs, your wants, your desires, your passions. You're living for someone else. Uh, you're probably living in the past. It's like you've got to get over it and move on. You know, you're, you're getting stuck in this vicious cycle. Finally, sacrifice. We got this the other day, letting go, moving on, moving forward, um, uh, seeing the good in a situation, seeing the good in yourself, uh, how much positivity you can bring others. Another reversal. Enlightenment. You're, you have the inspiration. You have a self, like a, an epiphany, uh, the aha movement. But it's like you don't want to run with it because you're scared because someone might judge you. Someone might think, oh, my God, this chick is crazy or this dude is nuts. Who fucking cares? You know, who really cares what other people think? Then we got, um, you have miracles. Uh, you're seeing like paranormal type stuff. You're having all these cool things happening, but be, maybe because you're a logical or analytical thinker, you're like, no, that can't be, that can't be, that can't be. But you can only explain away so much before you're like, okay, maybe there is something to this and I need to stop being in denial. You know, something, something like that. And a resurrection. So somebody is making a comeback. Thank God somebody is recovering from a bad situation uh they're seeing the good that came from it you know they're they're like i'm i'm done you know and being a rebel it's it's um it's a new revolution uh in seeing yourself you guys can be all that you want if you would just accept that we're all different we're individuals so we're all gonna want different things like different things need different things be into different things but some people are still stuck on, they need approval from others, um, but you don't. It doesn't really matter what other people think. It's what you think and how you feel about what you're doing. And if you feel good about it, then do it. You know, if, you know, then you can't give your time to a spouse, who cares? Because you can't give your spouse anything, love, sex, commitment, energy, fun times, if you can't give that to yourself, you're spent. I feel like, I feel like it's like this redundant type thing. It's, it's people's make more work for themselves because they don't want to take the time to meditate, to self love, to self soothe, to, you know, just take time for themselves and, and recoup. Uh, so how are you going to give all this stuff to everybody else? And if you are, you're walking around fucking miserable. Um, um, like, like I have to do this for someone. Hello, Shipley. How are you? Or Shelby, I can't say that name. Um, you know, so it's it's just getting over what people think about you and just moving on. Um, um, waving your freak flag, being proud of yourself, all your accomplishments. Uh, you know, you know something like that. What am I doing for bipolar? My bipolar disorder. Well, I do smoke pot. Um, I would suggest if you're not into marijuana, take some CBD. Um, and all that does is it just takes away my social anxieties. Um, it just helps me to like refocus just to breathe, um, and, and walk away. So really 
during the day, of course, I have kids that I have to take care of. So what I do is I prioritize my time, good time management. So in the morning, um, before everybody else is up usually, I meditate, but I don't really meditate. What I do is I either listen to music or I do dishes and I don't think about what I have to do for the day, okay? Because I already have this like life template. I've been a mom for what, 20 years now, almost 21 years. So it's like everyday type shit. So I get up, I take time for myself, whether that's 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes before the kids wake up, okay? I find me, I don't let shit bother me. I just do what I wanna do. So I will listen to music, um, you know, my, maybe listen to a YouTube and clear, clear my mind from that everyday fucking chatter that, okay, I gotta do the dishes, I gotta do this, I gotta do laundry. Don't do that for a little bit. Just take time for what you want to do, whether that's get up, smoke a blunt, smoke a cigarette, get in the shower, whatever you need to do for you to make yourself feel better in the morning. Then, okay, you might be feeling anxious or whatever. So what can you do to, to relieve your anxiety? Like I said, pop a CBD, like a gummy, an edible, smoke a blunt, right? Then you go, your kids might get up. So then you're gonna wanna, you're like, oh my God, I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling the greatest, I'm feeling depressed. So now nobody, well, okay, so no, they do happen. Like there are days where I'm, what someone would say manic, it's just I'm feeling better that day. I'm in a better mindset because I'm feeling like I can go, go, go. I utilize my manic, um, uh, time to do what needs to be done and and fast but then if i'm feeling down in the dumps i take that time to clear my mind and focus on what i want to do like i said whether that be for you to organize your cupboards or it's just to take your mind off of that depressive thought or, or something like that. I, I can't really explain that to you because I'm not you. My depression, my bipolar is gonna be different than yours, even if you are a type two. I don't do the medicine, I only do the marijuana or CBD if I can't get my hands on a pot dealer. Okay, seriously. Um, whoa, he is really screaming. Like, like the baby, my grandson, I'm ignoring him. But when he screams really loud, I hear it, but it's like, oh, he's just trying to communicate. So it's, it's, you, <laughs> now he's distracting me. No, really what you need to do is just ig, kind of like ignore that depression. Like you're feeling down in the dumps. Just, you know, go smoke a cigarette, smoke a blunt, find, listen to some music that gets you in an upbeat thing, even if it is for, you know, two, three minutes. And then if you go back into the depressive, you know, mood, then, you know, find something else that you'd like to do. I can't tell you what to do. I can, I only know what works for me. Um, and I'm very diverse. So one day, like I said, it might be music or organizing. Um, and if I'm having a negative thought or a sad thought, I try to think of something that makes me feel good, which is my kids growing up and, and leaving my house. Ain't Raven. I wish I had the camera on her. Yeah, so no, no episodes for me. I, I, I Occasionally, I get down in the dumps. Maybe, maybe once a week, I start feeling sorry for myself. Like, oh, I don't have an office. Or, oh, I don't have, um, you know, I, I don't have my own space. But then I look around, it's like, wait a minute. This is all mine. Um, I, I can go into a room, but like kids get out. But I just don't like inconveniencing my kids, you know. And what's a baby going to do? Stop crying because I tell it to stop crying? No. I just go to a different fucking spot where I can't hear them and I shut a door. Because it's a hashtag not my baby. But thank God that I have him because I get to look at life differently. I thought I wanted another kid. Yeah. No, fuck that shit. I want the baby for the love. But... I don't want the responsibility with it. See? And there goes the mother. That's her responsibility. And I get happy. You know what I mean? But I love him to death, you know? But it, you got to find, you got to take what the, like the negative or the sadness and, and try to find the good. Like he's not mine. So he's screaming, his mom will get him. And if I have him and he's screaming, I'll just tell myself, eh, when the mother gets back, 
it's no longer my issue. Hashtag not my baby. Hashtag not my problem. Something, something like that. So that's what I do, but that's just me, you know, and, and you're gonna, you're gonna have everybody, we're, we are just labeled the bipolar, you know, it's just a label because we don't fit into the groups of the normal people, but everybody's bipolar. Everybody is depressed. Everybody is happy. Everybody is sad. We, we go up and down. It's called wobbling. So you just got to find something that, that you can change your, your thoughts around a certain situation. And, and, and that's it. You know, that's all I really have for you with that. Let me just pull, um, one of these rebel bitch cards. Okay. Cause I think that it's the truth and it's a little vulgar, but at the same time, it's, it's funny. He's out. Oh, you flipped him. Oh, now he's, he's out. See, his butt. see that the mother sleep. handled the problem. Well, that's what he does every time. It says, get the fuck out of your head. It's true. That's why I say distract yourself with music or cleaning or organizing or smoking or whatever. And then it says, um, get in your heart because it misses you. So we're all here uh, for life experiences, okay? Because that's soul growth. So it's like what you do with those life experiences. Do you grow or do you go, you know, down more into the dump? Something, something like that. It says, <clears throat> you got a feeling you just can't shake. That little voice inside of you, listen to it. Your higher self will never give you negativity. Um, that's that's another kind of source that you're picking up or what uh, Esther would say, that's your mother talking. Um, pure divine love uh, is not that. We are just here to experience love. It's whether you're looking at it uh, with love in your heart, really. And it sounds cliche and shit, but it's not. We are all here for the purpose to love and to grow, and that's experiencing the good with the bad. You know, the yin and the yang. It's it's black and white. There, you know, you you gotta have the the pros and the cons. There, there's good and bad with every single thing, every single thing. And one more for you. You're ta you are talented and fucking amazing. The world needs your power. Use your voice. Just don't use it for dumb shit. I read this yesterday, I believe. Um, you are talented and you are amazing. It, uh, your life is your creation. Life is what you make of it. And if you're down in the dumps and you're going to have a shitty fucking day. But every, you know, every minute is a new chance to change that. Just it all depends on how you look at it. And you might be... A negative type person, but that's okay. Um, you just gotta like baby steps. You're not gonna go from way over there from here. You just, you know, look at yourself and pat yourself on the back and be like, hey, I got another day. Um, I should be excited for that. And then the next day, try it again a little bit more. And you'll notice that in the morning, if you take that time for yourself, little by little, you can chisel, chisel away that negativity. You know, it's, it's just something like that. So, and it says, eat your fucking vegetables, <laughs> eat some shit made by mother nature. So instead of, I like processed foods too, but um, you'll notice that some people are, a lot of people are really into fruits and vegetables. Um, that's because it's a natural thing. Uh, just like marijuana, that's why it works so well too. Don't tell that to everybody because they won't agree with you, but who fucking cares what they think? Because I know that it works for me. So fruits and vegetables, same kind of concept. It, it's, it comes from nature. It's good for you. It's healthy. It's better than eating a bag of chips. It'll bring you more energy. You know, you know things, things like that. So, And if you're working on your chakras for like energy healing and whatnot, you want to eat or wear clothes that match that color. Um, that I'm going to let y'all learn about chakra systems on your own. Kim Russo wrote two books, The Happy Medium, followed by um, Your Soul's Purpose, I believe. I, I listened to those books on Audible. Um, so that, that'll show you what the chakras mean and, and how to correlate the two. And love. We're all here for love, like I always say. That's what we want. We want it and we... Uh, we give it. We want to give it, but we also want to receive it. So it's that give and take, the pros and cons, the, the yin and the yangs, you know, the black and white, the con the contrast. So I, are you maintenance discipline of life? I don't know what that means. I, I have no clue what that means. 
I have good time management and I know how to utilize my resources and shit around me. I honestly have no clue what that means. So you'd have to give me a good analogy. Anyway, says love, get some, give some, and it will cheer your ass up. So give love, get love. Again, it's that give and take type relationship that you got going on. And take a shot. Don't take 12, take one. Okay, maybe two and move on. So take a stab at it, uh, journal it, release it, and let it go for the day. And see how the rest of your day goes, you know? All right, so let me, I'm going to get back in here to, because I got some people in. Hey, Ange. Hey, Jose. Yeah, I, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm like one of those people that freaking... Uh, I, I thrive on um, being productive with your time. I have to. And I am ADHD as well, and I'm OCD, and blah, blah, blah. I have all these labels, but they don't hinder me. I mean, sometimes they do, but I do take Adderall. Um, I used to be against meds, medications, but uh, it's a relief. And if you can get relief from it, then do it. But I'd much rather go the natural route, and that's why I smoke pot. But yes, I do take my, um, my Adderall. I'm on one of the lower doses. I think a 15 milligram extended release. I've been on the same shit for, I don't know, like two years now. Um, it just, it's enough to like clear the haze. You don't get addicted to it. You don't go through withdrawal unless maybe you're that kind of person, but it didn't for me. So anyway, yeah, it's just about using your time wisely. And I got five kids and they range from, they're, they're 10, 13, 15, almost 17, and almost 21. And then my grandson's six months old. And then I have two bonus children. So I had to learn early on, um, you know, to use my time wisely. Hey, Kayla. All right, let's see. So, yeah, Untamed, Wild, and Mysterious. Uh, she is who is wild. So it's okay to be wild and, and let it loose. You know, if you don't feel like wearing a bra around the house, let those girls fucking hang. You know, you know, something, something like that. Um, <clears throat> and then she who becomes metamorphosis, transcending a journey. Life is a journey. Um, it's whether or not you want to um, experience what life has to offer. Um, you know, just, just a metamorphosis, just changing and seeing the change in the people around you in your environment the growth the expansion things like that then we got she who surrenders change bondage bondage and release so it's like you might feel chained you might feel like you're stuck in a rut but it's really only you that's putting yourself in these situations um it's let it go release your your ties to your home life or or your kids or whatever it's looking at it in a different light right raven because yep. i wasn't always the greatest mom was i nope, nope. but i'm a whole hell of a lot better now ain't rave mm -hmm. she says mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I am. I am. but i need to know that they see that but that's you know it, it's it's for me to know and if they don't agree hashtag i'm sorry you know, not my I was going to say hashtag not my problem. You know, but look at this little freaking nugget over here. Just living her best life. I am. No brawl and everything. That's right. See, she's letting it all hang out. She's a Lucy Goosey. Lucy Goosey. What? Oh, yeah. yeah you can't that... say Lucy Goosey, Mom. That's not I don't mean like that. Okay, but what people mean by Lucy Goosey now is Lucy Goosey. That's what that is. Now. I do my kegels. How about that? Hey, kegels. kegels, kegels, you say tomato, I say tomato. Why do I do this to me online? You, no, you say tomato. Oh, uh -huh. you say sausage. It's sausage now, and coffee. Co or is it coffee? Which one do you say? I can't say, I'm not saying it now. Now I look silly. I'm not talking. Uh -huh. Just let the cards talk for me. You know, I'm about to do my daughter's reading right now and blow her spot up. Look at her picking her teeth. I oh, am. Yeah. <laughs> she who thrives by her mother's side. It's like, no, I, th I threw that in there. Um, flourish, prosper, and blossom. It's like I said, it all goes back to um, life is a journey, and it's a good one if you want it to. It's flourishing, creating new, expanding, the growth, 
um, you know, just, just, just prosperity, just generosity. It's just giving and receiving. What you give is what you're going to get. If you're going to be a bitch and a cunt, you're going to get back bitchiness and cuntiness. If you're going to give love and kindness, then you shall receive love and kindness, you know, but it doesn't happen overnight. Well, it kind of does, but you got to be like more in tune for that. So, but that's all I got for you guys today. So, Juices.